Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk about Phasmophobia, particularly the console version, the PlayStation version, which is the one we care about here because it's going to have PSV or 2 support. I am incredibly excited for Phasmophobia. If it wasn't for Firewall Ultra, Phasmophobia would be my game of the month that I'm most looking forward to. That's assuming it still comes out this month. We know the developers are still aiming for late August, but... We're what, seven days into August now. We still don't have a solid release date, so it could slip. I'm hoping it'll still be August. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is a concern about Phasmophobia. Now, Phasmophobia has been on PC in an early access kind of a stage for three years or so. Now it's kind of finally becoming feature complete, so that's why they're bringing it out to consoles now as well. However, one of these features is not going to be making it to the PlayStation, at least not at launch. My hope is that it will be patched in, but I'm a little bit worried by the way they've worded things. And this feature is voice recognition. Now, do not confuse this with voice chat. When you're playing Phasmophobia in the game, if you're playing with other platforms, with PC players, with Xbox players, you will be able to talk to them with voice chat. That's fine. However, one of the key features of Phasmophobia is voice recognition. That lets you talk to the spirits and lets you use a certain piece of equipment called a spirit box where you can like, it's like a walkie talkie for ghosts. You can ask it questions and depending on the type of ghost, it will respond to you and stuff like that. You can also antagonize ghosts by, you know, if you find out their names, you start repeating their names out loud that might upset the ghost, make it do things. And that's all part of the gameplay. It's fairly key. I would say, and it is disappointing that it's not gonna be there on the PS5 version for launch. Instead, you're gonna have like a text box so you can pick out options from text, which is okay. I mean, it, it'll fulfill the purpose of using the spirit box, but it's not gonna have the same immersion, you know? And of course, when it comes to virtual reality, you want that immersion. So this, of course, all comes from the Phasmophobia official Discord where they have a developer Q&A, and I'm gonna read out that specific part. I'll put it up on the screen as well so you can see it. For yourselves but the question asked was will voice recognition be available and the answer is we are still looking into this for the xbox however at the moment playstation will only support the text voice recognition option xbox players is a good chance it's going to be there for you for launch but for playstation players it might not be and my worry is that maybe it never will be so I'm, my hope is that maybe people raise enough noise get on to the developers enough and say hey this is an important thing we want this in the playstation version if you have to work on some workarounds do that we're going to be giving you some money when the game comes out on the playstation version so maybe use some of that money to get the voice recognition up and running a s a p and basically that's it that's the whole point of this video is that i kind of want to raise awareness I'm, I'm only a small channel not many people are going to see it but even if some people start making a bit of noise and asking them you know letting people know because i think a lot of people don't even know this a lot of people who are looking forward to phasmophobia on the playstation side are not even aware yet that uh it's not going to have voice recognition at least not at launch because how many people actually check you know the q a section of their discord you know it's it's something that surprised people when i told them and uh i think you know once it becomes more aware maybe they'll do something about it maybe they'll even talk about it maybe they'll you know reassure saying hey we know it's important it will be there at some point just not at launch and i'll be happy with that and that is it for this video but before i go let me thank decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos and also let me give a very special thank you to my channel members thanks to their support they're keeping this channel up and running and those people are purple unicorn ga muzz dead eye dan i've never seen such behavior in the war room before chopped ppe mr 777 no one knows Move Master, make Alvo World League commentator cat, Deej the Pumpkin Patch Kid, Pete Hawkins, and Crumb. Thank you very much for that support. If you'd like to become a member and support the channel too, you can do so by hitting one of the buttons down below me. And that is it for this video. Keep tuned to this channel if you want to see a lot of Phasmophobia streams, a lot of Firewall Ultra streams. Once those games come out, that's going to be what's dominating this channel. So if you're interested in that kind of content, hit the subscribe, the like, all that usual YouTube and shite. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now and stay moist.